Today I'm heading along by train to visit Avignon. The railway station is my start point to explore this amazing city, so come along as we check out Avignon. Leaving the station there's one thing you'll notice straight away. That's right, Avignon has trams. I didn't know that. And they even have the same bell as the trams in my home city of Edinburgh. See, how cool is that? Anyway, this isn't a video about trams. You want to know what Avignon is like, right? So the city walls are quite remarkable. They go right the way around the city centre and while you can't walk around them like you can in places like Dubrovnik, these are still some impressive fortifications and you can walk on and through some sections. This is where I'll start showing you around, here at the junction between Jean Juarez and St Roch Boulevard. The first road you'll cross is one named after President Kennedy. I guess maybe he visited here. Don't know. But on the other side of the road is this impressive government building. Further up the road you can enter the gardens of St Marshall. And it's here that you'll find this plaque that marks the crossroads between the pilgrim path to Santiago de Compostela and the one to Rome. You can find my video about my visit to Compostela linked in the description below. It's another cool place, so check out that video after watching this one. Anyway, these gardens are a great place to chill out, as well as this building being a great example of Gothic architecture. It's also where you'll find the tourist office. I continued up the road and close to the square up a side street is the Ruhr Palace. It's easily missed, but this is a small, interesting museum that's free to get in. It has exhibits and displays that help bring the history of the city to life. It's well worth a visit. Here now in the main square, which is lined with typical tourist trap restaurants. You'll also see the town hall. I went inside, got a row from the security guard for filming, took these sneaky photos and left. Back outside you can see the carousel and the Grand Opera House. At the top of the square is this impressive building, once the Bank of France, now a bar. Then up this street is what everyone comes to Avignon to see, the Pope's Palace. Said to be the biggest Gothic palace in the world and once rivalling the Vatican, it's tourist central and I didn't go in, you know, queues and not enough time, but here's some images I nicked off the internet to show you what it's like inside. Don't forget to turn around and admire this building, it's called the Three Keys. Why is it called the Three Keys? Don't know. Next door to the palace is the Avignon Cathedral, another gothic masterpiece and well worth checking out inside. Next to the cathedral, a war memorial marks the entrance to the Garden of Doms. What a great name! Here you'll find a duck pond, a really cool fountain with bright fish, a statue of Jean Althen, and wonderful views across the River Rhône. And of course, the St Benazette Bridge. We'll get to that in a minute. Head down through quaint streets until you reach the entrance to the bridge. You can sneak in and use the toilets for free here if you need. To get onto the bridge though costs 5 euros and comes with an audio guide which was great to find out more about the bridge and the city. It can get pretty crowded here so go early. And you also get great views of the river and the city walls. You can also go down to the chapel of St Nicholas. And watch the boats go by. So you'll surely notice the ring road around the outside of the city walls. It's crazy to try and cross this road and it's busy all the time. But if you manage to cross the road you can check out this great looking monument. Constructed in 1891, its grand name is the Monument of the Centenary of the Meeting of Avignon and the Comtat to France at Avignon. Really impressive but looking a bit shabby with weeds growing around it now. I walked around the city walls and along the river seeing some great views along the way. Eventually I reached the passage of the pyramid. Why is it called that? Don't know. This is one of the many parts of the wall you can walk through. And on the other side is a canal that runs down the side of the Street of Dyers. 
I guess textiles were made here in the past and you can still see some of the old water wheels, but these seem to be getting dismantled when I was there, so maybe not for much longer. This is a beautiful area to walk around and explore with great restaurants, cafes and bars. You can also find this building called Amon General. Originally built between 1669 and 1778 to help the needy of the city, it is now being converted to residential flats. Here we are in the fantastically named Pai Place, where you'll find market stalls and the Tower of St. John. Other great buildings to check out include the Basilica of San Pedro, the House of Jean Villar, and the Church of the Celestone. Probably pronounced that incorrectly, but really, there's too many to mention, and just walking around Avignon will wow you at every corner. Filled with narrow streets, beautiful buildings, and interesting history, if you visit Avignon, you'll surely love it as much as I did. Check out my walking tour video where you can get a feel for what it's like walking around this city. Thanks for watching, let me know what you think of this video in the comments below, and like, subscribe, and all that stuff too, please. See you next time!